And now, your first alert five weather. And I wanted to start with a couple images from Mike in Florence, where we have the ice pretty thick along the Arkansas River, and we've had some issues with this ice since we've had such drastic changes in our temperatures this week. Ice jams have been a problem in Florence, causing some overflow of the river in spots. Ice jam flooding is still possible over the weekend as we continue to see these shifts in our temperatures. But I do think things will regulate out a bit as we head through the next few days because our temperatures will start to regulate a bit. We will overall have a warming trend this weekend. We already started to see that today, but our warmest day will be tomorrow. I am tracking Mount and snow showers, though most of that will fall Sunday to Monday, but we're already starting to see some action in the high country. So you can see that here with a few splotches showing up on radar, some light snow showers in the mountains. We have plenty of moisture incoming where you can see pretty thick cloud cover moving across the state. So when we have more of a west southwest jet stream that allows for upslope snow making in the mountains and downslope warming in the plains. And that's what we're gonna experience here over the next few days. So we'll notice pretty thick cloud cover in place throughout Sunday afternoon in the lower elevations. We'll have mountain snowfall. Most of that will stay west of the continental divide, but a few flakes may make it just east of the divide both Sunday and into Monday. So on Monday, still pretty cloudy and comfortable temperature wise here in eastern Colorado. I see especially parked through Teller County seeing some light snow showers making it off of the higher terrain and then we're going to start to dry out across the state as we head into Tuesday. We'll have a little bit of snowfall overall in the mountains, not a major snowmaker, but we'll have periodic snow showers again here in the next couple of days in the high country. Let's talk temperatures here locally tonight. That blanket of cloud cover plus a westerly breeze will help to keep us a bit warmer than normal in the overnight. Plus, Tomorrow we have just a light westerly breeze and see how those temperatures will skyrocket to 55 in the springs, 56 in Pueblo, and we'll generally have 40s and 50s across the region. Not a whole lot of change in our mountains, kind of similar to how we spent today, but a major shift about a 15 to 20 degree warm up in the plains thanks to this shift in our weather pattern. So as we head into Sunday, Monday, maybe some spillover of some isolated showers from the mountains on Monday, but we're overall gonna be pretty warm, so it might even be rain. Overall, just overcast throughout the daytime with little peaks of sunshine here and there. Through the middle of the week, we're gonna see seasonable mid 40s. We're looking at just a gradual cool down as we head into the next few days. So for Pueblo, next three days will be in the 50s. We'll go back to seasonable upper 40s for the rest of the week. No major temperature swings. So that is something that's a little bit more quiet in our weather pattern. Canyon City 50s for the next four days drop into the mid 40s towards the end of the week. And for Woodland Park, you might pick up a little bit of snow accumulation. I'm thinking Monday's the best chance for that. Other than that, we're actually pretty mild 30s and 40s for the next few days.